Hello, it's Salim Igui again. Today I have been listening to a man tell us about how Scotland may abandon using juries in some sort of trials and how this would be dreadful as it would fly in the face of Magna Carta. There is however a small problem with this, Magna Carta does not apply to Scottish law. Magna Carta was signed in 1215 by King John and his barons. It had minimal influence on Scotland. I will cite several academics and members of the legal profession with regard to this. Firstly, I will cite this article from the University of Edinburgh. Magna Carta, Scotland and Scots Law. Hector McQueen. School of Law. Abstract slash description of output. The article is essentially an attempt to explain why, almost alone in the early modern English-speaking legal world, Scots lawyers gave no particular standing to Magna Carta, the great English medieval charter of liberties, either before or after the Anglo-Scottish Union of 1707. The article discusses a case in 1904 where an argument that Magna Carta affected the Crown's prerogative fishing rights in Scotland was rejected by the Court of Session, and also comments on the significance of the contribution made to the understanding of the Charter by the Glasgow law professor W. S. McKechnie in his book on the subject, 1904, second edition, 1914. But, as the article demonstrates, it is certain that Magna Carta was at its most important for Scotland in the year of its creation, 1215, and that that importance probably did not long outlive King John, died 1216. The gentleman talking about this issue must have been eating too many rich British dishes such as spotted dick or plum pudding. Here is another article about this issue. In the petition some reliance is placed on Magna Carta and the English Act of Union. Of 1706 6 and C11. In this respect, we observe that Magna Carta has no force of law in Scotland, it is an English document, and at the time of its execution, 1215, England was an independent country from Scotland. So far as the Union is concerned, it is the Scottish Act. Of 1707 that is binding in Scotland, including the provisions of the treaty that form part of that Act. The references to Magna Carta are intended to support the right of access to a Court of Justice. In Scotland, of course, such a right has long been recognized, but its origins lie in the common law, not in any English constitutional document. This is from the July 2, 2020. Lord Brody. Lord Drummond Young. Lord Malcolm. Opinion of the Court. Delivered by Lord Drummond Young. In the appeal by. Graham Nassau Gordon Senior Mill. Against. The Advocate General for Scotland. Petitioner and Appellant, Party. Respondent, Webster QC, McGregor, Office of the Advocate General. I have spoken to my colleague Jerek who assures me that this sort of poor knowledge regarding these issues is not always the case in the UK. I find it very dubious however when people claim to wish to have no more foreigners in the nation because the culture would become divided then show they lack knowledge of systems of government and law in their own nation. Laugh. I should cocoa.